it's Jan back at it again with another nerdy bookish video. Welcome to whatever day vlogmas this is. This is gonna be the Christmas song book tag. I was tagged by Bestie Cami from Burrows and Books. Apparently, Haley from Haley and Bookland is the original creator of this tag. I haven't heard of this tag till this year. I love doing tags personally. I just don't know if y'all like watching them, so I don't do them too, too often. Also, look out for the January book tag coming soon again. I've been waiting all year for this. But anyway, I'm gonna do this really quickly. Sorry I'm not festive for this Christmassy book tag. This is my work outfit. It's bland, it's not red or green or anything Christmassy, but we're here and we're providing the content, okay? All right, so I have the questions on the sticky note and I have the books prepped because I thought about this for once, okay? I still got a shower, I can't wait to wash my hair and I wanna read. So we're gonna try to make this quick because I have no other pre-filmed footage. Anyway, all right, number one is, oh, I'm gonna try to remember the songs that go with each question. Number one was You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch. Choose a villain that you couldn't help but fall in love with or something like that. These questions were actually pretty hard. Like took like half an hour thinking about these questions. The only villain that I could really think of that I was like swooning over was Cardin from the Coco the Air trilogy. I will link my vlog where I binged this series back to back to back. I did like the 24 hour timer method and it was kind of a flop, but I finished the series. That was an accomplishment and I loved it. I had a good time. Spoiler alert, I did love it. I I gave the Cruel Prince five stars for sure. I don't remember what I gave the other two, but Cardin, he's like a bully to Jude at first, but towards the end, I loved him. I honestly had to Google literary villains. He came up and I was like, I did really enjoy reading from him. So that's my first answer. The next, oh, there's a hot Cheeto on my floor. I'm just jam things. The next question is, all I want for Christmas is you. What are five books you want under your Christmas tree this year? And I just went based on my Amazon wish list. Some of the ones that I thought of were The Women Could Fly, which is a literary fiction and it's kind of witchy. It's like feminist and everything. So that intrigued me. Suffer the Children is one of my 12 Rex by 12 friends and it's a vampire children book. Reluctant Immortal sounds really good too. I don't hear too many people talking about it but some people have recommended it to me but I already had it on my list because first of all, the cover is dope. Second of all, can't remember if it involves vampires but just immortality in general is one of my favorite tropes. So it's in the title, obviously. Hell's Half Acre is a true crime book that was recommended to me by this bookseller in the small town that Joey and I took a road trip to. And it's about the first serial killer family. So I thought that'd be interesting. And I have been saying all year that I need to get back on my true crime train. A Broken Blade, I don't remember the author's name, but this is a newer fantasy. I don't know when it came out, but it just sounds so fascinating to me. And it's one of those where it's a big book that if I library it, I know I'm gonna want to annotate it and the cover is stunning and I remember reading the synopsis and being like wow That sounds like a good time. Sounds fascinating. So here we are I don't know if that's five yet, but I also have cursed bunny, which is a story collection Daughter of no worlds, which is also in Kindle Unlimited But I saw Cammie's physical edition when I went to go visit her and I kind of want it on my shelf To be honest the hollow kind Jesse from Bowties and Books said that it freaked them out to the point where they had to sleep on their couch just because they were too scared to sleep in their bedroom. The one Dark Window sounds really fascinating too. Wolf Song is one of my 12 Rex by 12 friends. Yeah, that was way more than five, so we're gonna move on. Next song, I believe, was Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and I can't remember the wording of the question, but it was something about name a book with a character who overcomes certain things and then they end up believing in themselves. So basically, a book with a character who has evident character growth throughout the story, and I chose, oh, I didn't even grab this one. So for this one, I chose Someday Maybe by Oni and Wabinelli. It's a debut that I just read last month. Look how pretty the tabs look with the book. It matches perfectly. I love it. Thank you very much. This is a very sad book about this woman named Eve and how she's dealing and coping and navigating life without her husband because he took his own life on New Year's Eve. And you go back and forth between two timelines and find out like how he did it and what led to that point and things like that. Also talks about art and everything. And so yeah, so you watch this woman find more things out about his past and her own past. And then 
then you just see her like at, obviously at first she's super depressed and like cannot get out of bed and won't do this no matter how supportive her family was being and how much they were like nudging her to get back and normal she has a very supportive family all throughout the book yeah so she starts out very depressed you know it's all fresh and everything and then she slowly starts to relearn how to live her own life without him and yeah you definitely see growth by the end you see her standing up for herself and like accepting certain things and yep that is a great book let me tell you the next question has two parts i believe the song was santa claus is coming to town the first part is choose a character that's on the naughty list and then one who's on the nice list so the naughty list i chose is her name dorothea from a certain hunger this is about a female serial killer who's also a cannibal she specifically targets men who wronged her men who wronged other women in her life just men in general and she's also a foodie so she not only cooks these body parts but she cooks them as fine cuisine type of meals this is number two in my top 10 of 2022 i absolutely loved her character i love the writing in this it reads like a memoir it's so good so spoiler alert for my top 10 of 2022 but that's no surprise to anyone so i don't even care and then the one on the nice list just finished only when it's us by chloe lees and writer from this book is just he's so supportive and he's so good at communication and knowing when to give the female love interest space and time to you know feel her feelings and everything and he's just so considerate yeah the next question is choose a book that melts your heart but i forgot what the song is frosty the snowman which book just melts your heart i'm gonna say the kiss curse by aaron sterling this is the sequel to the x hex and i honestly kind of preferred this one to the x hex even though i love that first one so much that i reread it this year and i will keep rereading that as well as this one i just love the romance in this the steam was exquisite this was a better plot in my opinion i just had such a good time i read this in just a couple sittings and it was so good and i just loved it my heart was exploding melting and exploding all at the same time i think i had another answer yeah my other answer for this is open water by caleb azuma nelson this is a romance told in second person so it's like it's talking to you and it's just it hits even harder because the writing is everything the writing is just so hard hitting heart wrenching heart melting heart breaking all of it and I will read this over and over again. Caleb Azuma Nelson is releasing a new book in May, so I'm so freaking stoked for it. It's called Small Worlds, but yeah, I will definitely be rereading this at some point. This is also one of my favorite books of the year. Feliz Navidad. Choose a book that takes place in a country other than your own. So I have three. I don't know why. I just couldn't pick one, but I just wanted to mention Madam by Phoebe Wynn because this is so underrated. No one talks about this enough or at all. This takes place in the Scottish highlands in this isolated boarding school and this woman gets a job there as a teacher i believe and then there's all this fucked up stuff going on it's dark academia it's one of the most underrated dark academias i i've ever read because i loved it i gave this five stars it had such a good twist it was so well written the atmosphere the vibes it's all there then i have the keeper of night which is set in the uk as well as japan this is one of my favorite why fantasies of all time and it's about this japanese shinigami who's also half british reaper and it's about identity there's such vivid imagery all throughout this book i was able to visualize things and y'all know how hard that is for me especially in fantasy so this was everything i still have to read the sequel i know i hate myself too it's fine the last one i want to mention just because i feel like i haven't talked about this in a while since i read it and i actually really did enjoy it the paris apartment obviously set in paris the twist in this one i actually really enjoyed there were some creepy parts in this as well i read this super quickly i know a lot of people hate this book i know a lot of my friends hate this book i think i gave it three or four stars a high three if i did give it a three the main thing that i hated about this book was that lucy foley used a lot of colons for some reason like where it didn't even make sense either but anyway i love anything set in paris france in general i love the french language and it was definitely incorporated into the story i still think about this twist every now and then so clearly it was a good time i still haven't read the guest list though but soon i have a video plan for it it's the most wonderful time of the year which holiday themed book do you use to spread christmas joy and i'm gonna steal cammy's answer because i gifted her that book i recommended that book and i'm gonna use that book for this question as well a very merry bromance by lissa k adams i am not one to not only enjoy but read at all christmas romances but this book changed my life <laughs> this is the fifth book i believe in the bromance book club series which is my favorite romance series pretty much of all time i just had to i was like if 
this were any other series, I would not pick up this cover. It's so cringy, but this was so good. So, so good. There's this country singer named Colton Wheeler. There's this immigration lawyer named, I forgot her name. Is it Liv? No, it's not Liv. I forgot her name, but she is grumpy. He is sunshine. He was sunshine. I was midnight, right? Okay, but this was such a good, I don't know, it had more than just the romance. It had familial trauma, so trigger warnings for that. It talked about immigration because obviously that's her job. It had music incorporated into it, which I thought was gonna be a letdown for me because I'm usually not one to like that in books besides like Daisy Jones and the Six, but that's a different story. I really liked this book. I gave it five stars. I'm obsessed. The steam was good. The overall story was good. The ending was great. The third act conflict actually made sense. Yep, that's my answer. Slay Ride, which fictional character would you choose to spend the holidays with? So this one took me a little bit to think about too, but I was scrolling through my Goodreads and I chose The Aunties from Dial A for Aunties by Jesse Q. Satanto. I don't know if it's a duology, but I read the first two books in this series, Dial A for Aunties and Four Aunties and a Wedding, and they're just so funny. So the first one, Dial A for Aunties, is about this girl who accidentally kills her blind date or whatever, and then her aunties help her her hide the body. They own like a wedding business. So there's this whole wedding going on while this is all happening. And it's just so funny And those aunties, like I just know would make me laugh until I piss myself if I spent the holidays with them. So that's my answer. The next one is, I just put sacrifice to fire. <laughs> I don't know what the actual question is. Oh, baby, it's cold outside. Which book that you didn't like would you sacrifice to a fire to warm yourself up in the cold? I have three answers, but I only have one physically. Carrie Soto's back. I'll link my vlog down below so you could hear all my thoughts. It's spoiler free. Comfort me with apples was also one. It just pisses me off thinking about that book because the twist was awful. A Deadly Education is my last answer for that by Naomi Novik because we're just gonna keep making the fire bigger because we have the Kindle for it so why not throw it in? Am I right? And then the last one is a book that everyone should read but I don't remember the Do You Hear What I Hear is the song. Are we surprised? We spread by Ian Reed. I'll link my Gilmore Girls readathon vlog where I fucking sobbed over this book. I think a lot of people will benefit from this. I think whether you have the same thoughts because I know that's how it affected me is that I've been having the same thoughts about like running out of time and like not being able to do things that you used to love anymore as you age and that shit scares me so one that could be relatable two it would help you be more self-aware and more grateful for the little things and appreciative of the simplicities of life and the things that you can do now that you're not gonna always be able to do as harsh as that sounds so yeah I recommend this to everybody that is all if you made it to the end of this video Put any Christmassy or holiday type of emoji in the comments down below. Who do I want to tag? Renee from Reading with Renee. Sav from Riveting Reads. Jesse Loves Christmas. Jesse from Bowties and Books. There y'all go. Gave y'all content. No need to thank me. Kat from Bambina Cat Arena. That's all. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope y'all had a great day. Stay safe, stay positive, and stay festive always. And I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye! Ooh.